Mr. President, I would like to, I don't, let, let me just go ahead with my two questions. Uh, I am on the ground. I've been reporting the crisis since the beginning. And uh, like somebody who is living through the crisis and who has been reporting it, you see that people are becoming tired. The incidents from now and then, the minute deaths, I think almost every family has been touched. And when you talk to the people on the ground, they are almost very tired and exhausted by the whole uh, crisis that's been going on since uh, 2000 and late 2016. Uh, I want to ask you, what is your strategy so that uh, to make this thing probably end sooner than later, given that people are very tired? What are you doing? What, what are you doing to ensure that... Uh, your voice is heard and that uh, this goes to a logical end. And then uh, my second question, I would like to get your comment following the arrest of uh, uh, Mr. Yabacho. I know he's one, he's the leader of the ADF, one of uh, the several groups that are fighting for the same thing. You that say they are fighting for the same thing you are fighting for. I want to know your comment regarding that. And I also like to know whether with his arrest, you or your team are also worried about a similar thing happening or, or, or yeah, something like that. Mr. President. Yes. Uh, thank you uh, for the question. Um, I want us to understand that fatigue it's not just a, it's not an Amazonian problem. Fatigue is the problem of everyone that is involved in a fight when it has protracted for long. So that is also a natural phenomenon. But fatigue does not mean the same as surrender. If you see any man who is tired or showing signs of tiredness, ask the person, should we give up? you will get another answer. So, well, let us not mistake fatigue. That is a natural emotion, a natural phenomenon to be misinterpreted. And that is what uh, some people on the other side, uh, propagandists have tried to say. And I remind them, just as I'm, just I'm doing now, that fatigue is not uh, the, the desire to surrender. It's just a natural thing that happens when you are fought and fought and fought for long. You get tired. Now, are you going to surrender? No, we are not surrendering. And uh, in our case, the signs of fatigue are, are because of certain actions that have been promoted on the ground by Atanganji, uh, Emil Banqui, and, the, and their criminal gangs who have found uh, associates uh, within uh, or even trained and sponsored militias to increase the pain on our people, and uh, and we we have reports that the ADF has participated a lot uh, as a, as a partner in that in that in that uh, uh, in those activities, um, uh, increasing the pain on our people. And when these kind of things happen, when people are killed, when people are shot in the marketplace without any justice. When uh, uh, when people's necks are, uh, uh, are hurt and their heads are, 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 are stuck on a pole by the roadside, and you have people who go out there and claim responsibility that they did so. And when there are such gruesome mothers of children uh, and, and women naked on the street and killed, and our own, and some of some of some people of Amazonian origin go out there and claim responsibility for that and say that is the fight, the fight. <clears throat> they are chosen to fight. Those things can bring not just what you call tiredness, but some kind of discouragement. The discouragement does not mean surrender. <clears throat> tiredness does not mean surrender. It's, 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 it's an expression of disappointment with certain things that they see and certain things that they have gone through. <clears throat>